Alright, today I'm going to show you how to move your music from your iPod to your PC. The, you will need to know how to SSH into your iPod. You can use lots of programs. I use FileZilla. You can use WinSCP or FTP Pro or whatever. If you don't know how to SSH, just Google it or watch other people's YouTube videos. It's everywhere. After you got that figured out, you want to go to the SSH program. Type in your iPod information, IP address, root, password, um, username, password, and port 22. After that, after you have access to your iPod file, go to slash private, var, root, media, no, sorry, wrong one. Okay, so it's private, var, mobile media and go to the iTunes control music and over here you will find lots of files F00, F01, F2, etc, etc alright, you want to copy all those files to your desktop or whatever place you want I'm not going to do that because I already did it alright so after you copy all of the files, it, it should take a long time, about 5 to 20 minutes, depending on how many songs you have. After you're done with that, you can close this, and you will have a list of files on your desktop. Alright. Hold on a sec here, let me see. Give me a second here. I'm gonna move these to Alright. So I have moved all of my files to my desktop. As you can see these are all my files. And on your desktop, I want you to create a new folder. So right click on a new folder. You can name it whatever you want. I'm gonna name it iPod music okay and then you just want to move all of these move all of these to it sorry 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 hold on yep. so, all right. Hit. okay let me just put the camera down so I can highlight all of these so, Alright, after you highlighted all the files, the iPod files, you want to move it into the new folder you just created. Alright, and there we go. You are all set up. And there's all the files in the folder. Alright, and to add these files to your iTunes library, you want to go to your library, right up here, go to music, and then go to File, add folder to library, and then choose the folder where you moved all those files into. And after that, it will process and add all of the songs on. And that is how you can move your iPod music and stuff into your iTunes library. Thanks for watching, guys.